This tutorial will show you how to export data out of your Whisper Reporter database. We will start by clicking on the Data Manager button up here at the top, which we've used over the last two or three videos in this series on the Data Manager. We will click the Export entry here, click Next, and then you're provided a window, a dialog window here, that will allow you to specify or instruct Whisper on what it is that you would like exported. For example, you can come down here and click on the primary client's name. You can expand this and get to the property address that was inspected, including the city, state, and zip code if you want. If you happen to be keeping financial information in the Whisper database, you can actually um, pull that out as well. and you can even pull out the real estate agent information if you would like on the buyer side or whatever you want to do. Um, this information is very useful for if you wanted to take the information, the financial information, bring it into QuickBooks, um, which is a very good accounting program. You could do some calculations and stuff in there. Uh, you could also take out just the name information and addresses and stuff like that of, let's say, the agent if you wanted to or your client that you did the inspection for and you could do a mail merge in Word generate uh, letters thanking you you know uh, these people for your their business and stuff like that uh, or a multitude of other things but the uh, the fact that you can pull all this information out of Whisper makes it very flexible we support these file formats to the right over here uh, probably the more common ones will be Excel tab delimited text and comma separated um, and we even go to HTML and XML if you want to do that. This is going to default to all dates in the database. You can actually specify a range if you would like. Um, you can do just any of these selections which would give you a specific year, um, custom date range as well. So let's just click on Excel for now. I'll click Next. It's going to ask me for a file and I'm just going to call it the uh, Whisper Reporter export file. I'm going to put it on my desktop. It's going to call it an XLS file, which is a uh, Excel. And I'm going to go ahead and click export, export here. And we did it. I'm going to click close. I'll go ahead and drop this down. And here's the spreadsheet on our desktop. If I double click on it, you'll see that all the data that we told Whisper Reporter to export should be in here. Here's the actual report uh, number, I guess, report number. The client's name information that we exported, property address. Here's the fee information. If I scroll up and down, you can see that we have a lot of stuff in here now. Most of this is templates, and I do have a few reports in here, but not that many. So, um, But it is all in an Excel spreadsheet, and you can use this for a lot of different things. So I'll go ahead and close this, and that pretty much concludes the export tutorial. Thanks for watching.